Today we're talking all about how to clean our crusty dusty oil paint brushes all without the use of solvents. Now I know what you're thinking, cleaning your brushes sucks. It is so annoying, but it is an essential part of being an artist, especially an oil painter. We gotta clean our brushes regularly, whether we like it or not. And trust me, from years of not cleaning my brushes, I will tell you that now that I clean them well, my paintings look a lot better, my colors are more vibrant, the experience is more fun, and also my tools last longer. Let's get into the video. Okay, and here are the materials that you'll need if you want to clean your oil paint brushes without using solvents. Safflower oil is really important, and I like to have a jar for the safflower oil. And then you want some kind of soap. I have this master brush cleaner that is specifically for paint brushes, but you could also use Dawn soap or just a cheap bar soap. And then obviously your dirty brushes you need. Some rags, or you can use paper towels as well. And then a couple optional items. You could use a conditioner that makes your brushes really soft. I don't really use it that often, but it is nice. And also you can get like a wire brush if you have really, really dirty paint brushes and you want to really comb that paint out of your brushes. I don't have one personally, but I've heard they're great. All right, so step one. First, we have to remove the excess paint from our paintbrush after we're done painting for the day. If you haven't painted in a while and you just came here with your old crusty brushes, then you can move on to step two. But step one is if you just painted and you need to remove the, you know, fresh paint from your brush. Okay, so I just finished painting and I have a little bit of red paint left over on my brush. So I'm just going to wipe the excess paint onto my palette. That way I'm saving as much paint as possible and maybe I can use a little bit of it tomorrow. Next we have a two rag system. So first we want to wipe our brush on the first rag, which is the dirty rag. And we want to try to get all the paint off as much as we can. And then we're going to clean our brush in safflower oil. And I have a coil in the bottom of my jar, which just helps, you know, get the paint off of the brush. So I'll just kind of swirl it around the safflower oil. And then I can blot the brush on the rag number two, which is kind of like the clean rag. And repeat if necessary until your brush is looking a lot cleaner. <laughs> And as you can see, there is no red paint, so that means that we are good to move on to the next step. So now that we got all the fresh paint off our brush, it is time to use soap and water. So you just want soap, water, a sink, and your brushes with all the you know fresh paint off of them. And let's head over to the bathroom and we're going to wash them with soap and water. Okay, so we're just gonna start washing our brush. So like I said, I'm using the master cleaner here. You could also use Dawn soap or a bar soap, really anything. But I do recommend having like a container, like a plastic tub or like a Tupperware or a mason jar. It's just really nice so you don't have to get your sink uh, super dirty. You can really get the brush in there and swirl it around the container and it just you know helps get it super clean. Actually, here's an example. I had an old master soap container. So I just cut like a bar of soap and put it in there and I'll use that all the time. So we're just gonna work our brush into the soap and wash with water and keep repeating as many times as we need until we see that color fading and the brush is starting to look clean and soft again. Pay attention to any areas with stubborn paint. And remember to be gentle while doing this. Your brushes are important and we need to take good care of them. So I like to use like a swirling or pressing motion instead of like smashing or rubbing really hard into the soap. And remember that it's okay if the brushes aren't like perfectly, perfectly clean, like where there's no color. I mean, I had this thalo blue paint that kind of just stained some of my brushes. And yeah, I could clean it for hours and hours and hours and get that off. But as long as the brush is soft and mostly clean, it's okay because I use that brush for blues anyway. 
so again, it's up to you. Like if you want to keep going and get it like perfectly clean, that's fine. But to me, it's kind of a waste of soap as long as it's mostly clean and I use that brush for similar like colors, then it's okay if I just get it like mostly clean. Okay, and just a note here, if you have like super old crusty brushes that you did not clean, they're in really bad shape, like tons of dried paint, and you find that this step isn't working very well, like the soap just is not enough, and trust me, I have a lot of brushes like this, then I would at this point unfortunately recommend to use a solvent such as Gamsol or Winsor & Newton a Brush Restorer and Cleaner. I don't use solvents very often, but I do still have some brushes from a while back when I wasn't very good at cleaning them. So once in a while, I'll like clean some of those with a solvent just to get them new again. Yeah, if you're like that, then maybe get a solvent for just, you know, this one instance. And then step three, this is totally optional, but if you want to use a little bit of conditioner, this can make your brushes really soft again. I don't really do this that often, but it is kind of fun once in a while. You can use any type of like cheap conditioner or whatever, and then just use a small amount of the conditioner and wash your brush as you would, you know, your hair in the shower. And then if you want, you can kind of reshape the brush, just kind of use your fingers and mold it to however you want it to look. Okay, so finally, we are going to allow our brushes to air dry completely before using them again. You can lay them flat or hang them with the bristles down to maintain the shape if you want. I usually will put my brushes out in the sun if it's a nice day because they'll dry within a couple hours or less. And that's really nice if I want to paint like later that day or something. But yeah, usually it takes at least like a day or something uh, if they're just in my art room, if they're not out in the sun. And yeah, there you have it. That's how you clean your oil painting brushes the solvent-free way. I promise that doing this regularly will ensure your colors stay vibrant, your tools last a long time, and you have less stress while you're painting, trust me. So if you liked this video, if it was helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I'm so happy you're here. Thanks again for watching, and I'm wishing you a wonderful day, and happy creating. Bye!